Hi everyone, welcome back to Bible in a Year. My name is Natalie and today we're on day 175. I am so happy that you're here today. Welcome to the channel. We are going to be uh, beginning Joshua chapter 1 and then we'll move back into Isaiah chapter 60 and then we are going to finish 1 Corinthians chapter 16, and then we'll close out the day with Psalm 100. So you have picked a very interesting day to join. I'm so happy that you're here, and I hope your day's going great. If you um, would like to find these videos easier, it is best to just subscribe, and then you can just go into your subscriptions and find me for a daily reading. I'm noticing YouTube is just throwing up whatever day um, suits them, which is fine. But if you're trying to, um, you know, stay within the format, just go ahead and subscribe. So let's get started with Joshua chapter one, the book of Joshua. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, Yahweh spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses's servant saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now therefore arise, go across this Jordan and all these people to the land which I am giving to them, even to the children of Israel. I have given you every place that the sole of your foot will tread on, as I told Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even to the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and to the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your border. No man will be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall cause this people to inherit the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, be careful to observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Don't turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous and then you shall have good success. Haven't I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed, for Yahweh your God is with you wherever you go. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the middle of the camp and command the people, saying, Prepare food, for within three days you are to pass over this Jordan, to go in to possess the land which Yahweh your God gives you to possess. Yahweh spoke to the Reubenites and to the Gadites and to the half-tribe of Manasseh, saying, Remember the word which Moses the servant of Yahweh commanded you, saying, Yahweh your God gives you rest and will give you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your livestock shall live in the land which Moses gave you beyond the Jordan, but you shall pass over before your brothers armed, all the mighty men of valor, and shall help them until Yahweh has given um, your brothers rest, as he has given you, and they have also possessed the land which Yahweh your God gives them. Then you shall return to the land of your possession and possess it, which Yahweh the servant of Yahweh gave you beyond the Jordan toward the sunrise. They answered Joshua, saying, All that you have commanded us, we will do, and wherever you send us, we will go. Just as we listen to Moses in all things, so will we listen to you. Only may Yahweh your God be with you, as he, as he was with Moses. Whoever rebels against your commandment and doesn't listen to your words in all that you command him shall himself be put to death. Only be strong and courageous.
Oh, Joshua is a good book. I'll tell you what. Okay, Isaiah chapter 60. Arise, shine, for your light has come and Yahweh's glory has risen on you. For behold, darkness will cover the earth and thick darkness the peoples. But Yahweh will arise on you and his glory shall be seen on you. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather themselves together. They come to you. Your sons will come from far away and your daughters will be carried in arms. There you shall see and be radiant and your heart will thrill and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea will be turned to you. The wealth of the nations will come to you. A multitude of camels will cover you. The dromedaries of Midian and Ephah. All from Sheba will come. They will bring gold and frankincense and they will proclaim the praises of Yahweh. All the flocks of Kedar will be gathered together to you. The rams of Nebaioth will serve you. They will be accepted as offerings on my altar, and I will beautify my glorious house. Who are these who fly as a cloud and as the doves to their windows? Surely the islands will wait for me and the ships of Tarshish first to bring your sons from far away, their silver and their gold with them for the name of Yahweh your God and for the Holy One of Israel because he has glorified you. Foreigners will build up your walls and their kings will serve you for in my wrath I struck you but in my favor I have had mercy on you. Your gates also shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day or night, that men may bring to you the wealth of the nations and their kings led captive. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve you shall perish. Yes, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come to you, the cypress tree, the pine, and the box tree together to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons of those who afflicted you will come bowing to you, and all those who despised you will bow themselves down at the soles of your feet. They will call you Yahweh's city, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas you have been forsaken or hated, so that no one pass through you. I will make you an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. You will also drink the milk of nations and will nurse from royal beasts. Then you will know that I, Yahweh, am your Savior, Savior, your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. For bronze, I will bring gold. For iron, I will bring silver. For wood, bronze, and for stones, iron. I will also make peace your governor and righteousness your ruler. Violence shall no more be heard in your land, nor desolation or destruction within your borders. But you will call your walls salvation and your gates praise. The sun will be no more your light by day, nor will the brightness of the moon give light to you. But Yahweh will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Your sun will not go down any more, nor will the moon withdraw itself, for Yahweh will be your everlasting light, and the days of your mourning will end. Then your people will all be righteous. They will inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. The little one will become a thousand, and the small one a strong nation. I, Yahweh, will do this quickly in its time. Because Yahweh 
can do whatever he wants. Like that. <laughs> All right, let's finish up 1 Corinthians by reading chapter 16. This is Paul speaking. Now concerning the collection for the saints, as I commanded the assemblies of Galatia, you do likewise. On the first day of every week, let each one of you save as he may prosper, that no collections are made when I come. When I arrive, I will send whoever you approve with letters to carry your gracious gift to, Israel, uh, to Jerusalem. If it is appropriate for me to go also, they will go with me. I will come to you when I have passed through Macedonia, for I am passing through Macedonia. But with you, it may be that I will stay with you, or even winter with you, that you may send me on my journey wherever I go. For I do not wish to see you now in passing, but I hope to stay a while with you if the Lord permits. But I will stay at Ephesus until Pentecost, for a great and effective door has been opened to me, and there are many adversaries. Now if Timothy comes, see that he is with you without fear, for he does the work of the Lord, as I also do. Therefore, let no one despise him, but set him forward on his journey in peace, that he may come to me, for I expect him with his brothers. Now concerning Apollos, my brother, I strongly urged him to come to you with the brothers, but it was not at all his desire to come now, but he will come when he has the opportunity. Watch. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Let all that you do be done in love. Now I beg you, brothers, you know the house of Stephanus, that it has been the first fruits of Achaia, and that they have set themselves to serve the saints, that you also be in subjection to such and to everyone who helps in the work of, and labors. I rejoice at the coming of Stephanus, Fortunatus, and Achaicus. For that which was lacking on your part, they supplied. For they refreshed my spirit and yours. Therefore, acknowledge those who are like that. The assemblies of Asia greet you. Aquila and Priscilla greet you warmly in the Lord, together with the assembly that is in their house. All the brothers greet you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. This greeting is by me, Paul with my own hand. If any man doesn't love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be cursed. Come, Lord, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. My love to all of you in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hmm. I would suggest that today's theme is to be strong. And courageous. Psalm 100. This is a psalm of thanksgiving. Shout for joy to Yahweh, all you lands. Serve Yahweh with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that Yahweh, he is God. It is he who has made us. And we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For Yahweh is good. His loving kindness endures forever. His faithfulness to all generations. Wow, guys, what a great day to be here and read those words, all four chapters, or I'm sorry, all four books, just encouraging us that God is love. 
He loves us so much and he just wants the very best for us. And why we, while we kind of push back on, you know, how we would like to see things, he knows what is best for us. And above all, to be strong and courageous and go in love. What a great day this was. And I know I say that almost every day, but this was a really great day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I hope you just have the best day today. Please come back for tomorrow, which will be day 176. And I will see you then. Bye, everyone.